Good morning everyone, it's Sunday and I think this video will be going out today, I think. Um, but I thought with it being a new year and um, new year, new me, although I, I literally hate that saying, it is the most cringeworthy saying ever, but um, I thought I would put out a come to the gym with me because um, I do lots of come to places with me and I thought that this would be quite a nice one. Just to show you what I'm doing in the gym at the moment and have a little bit of a workout together. Obviously I am not a professional so if you are looking for um, a professional like Zana, someone like that, I'll link them down below because those are the people you want to go to. Um, but I'm just going to show you what I'm doing and um, tell you like my reps and stuff like that. Now I'm not good at talking in the gym because my gym's like not like a normal gym. It's kind of, there's a lot of like older people in there and I feel like it would be frowned upon if they're like in the background they wouldn't want to be it's not like a young person's gym basically and I don't want to upset anyone and it's not like in the US like I feel like in the US like you watch Casey Neistat's videos and he'll like film someone and they're like totally fine with it but I feel like in the UK if you just film someone they're like what the hell are you doing get that camera out of my face I'm always having to think of like being respectful to the people around um, me? <laughs> I don't want to upset anyone. Ali is down in London today at Men's Fashion Week. He just announced on his Twitter that he is the first UK male influencer to be an ambassador for the Olympus Pen F, which honestly, I could not be more proud. Like, it's such a huge step for him. Considering when we met, he'd like never picked up a camera and now he's an ambassador. It's it's just incredible, I'm so proud. It's such a busy day today, so I'm shocked that I'm even getting in a workout, but I feel so like sluggish that I know that I have to go and work out. Then I've got to come home and film, I think like two videos, because obviously we're going away and um, I need to have like some content. I'm hoping to get vlogs out whilst I'm there, but just in case I want to cover my own back. Then I'm going to get my toes done and my nails done. And I also want to see if I can fit in some shopping and packing. So it's a busy one, I'm not gonna lie. I think I feel like I've bitten off more than I could chew, but I did get everything done that I wanted to get done yesterday, so I'm I'm hopeful for today. Anyway, any more talking and I'm gonna make myself late and not get everything done today. So let's go and work out. <laughs> When I got into the gym it was absolutely packed I literally got like the last cross trainer and I did 10 minutes 10 11 minutes running on the cross trainer and did about 3k and then I got off and I did um, I went on the stepper and I did 10 minutes on there I always like to keep my heels down so that I'm engaging my glutes as much as possible because girl has not got much junk in her trunk <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to do was train abs and I started off by doing some hanging leg raises This is the funniest thing that's ever happened this clip. I was like, oh my god I have to put that in I tried going for the higher bar and didn't realize <laughs> Yeah, too short for that too short for that So I thought I'd leave that clip in and then I wanted to do some ab work on the mats But there was literally no space for me to do ab work and film it So I decided to abandon that idea and I decided to train some legs so I was going to do drop sets on the abductor, I think that's what it's called, uh, but the abductor was broken and then I went on the adductor and I did drop sets on that from about 30 pounds or kg, again I have no idea, um, I'll let you know if I ever find out. So I did three drop sets and then I did three sets of the three drop sets if that makes any sense. So I did a little workout on the leg press um, at about 40 40 pounds or is it 40 kg? I have no idea. Um, so I did three sets of that. Um, I think I did about 10 to 12 reps, by which point I'd been in there way too long trying to find equipment and things to do that weren't ram packed. There wasn't loads of people on them. And I just thought, you know what? At least you came in, you got some good cardio in. Let's go home and do some work. <laughs> So not the best session of my life, but I'm glad that I went and sometimes you will have bad gym sessions and that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes just 
sometimes it doesn't always end up being the best workout and I'm not going to America feeling like in my best shape I'm not gonna lie I know that some people will be like oh my god Lydia you're this you're that but it is how you feel in yourself and I don't feel the greatest at the moment uh, I think Ali and I are gonna take our gym stuff with us to America but now I'm gonna go home get washed and get ready to film some videos then hopefully get in some shopping and then some nails so I've just finished up getting ready to film and um, I'm so hot it's unreal I don't know why I'm so hot, it's supposed to be freezing in the UK, but I'm literally boiling. I'm filming some videos to get myself ahead because um, I'm gonna be away a lot this month, but I've also got to remain organized, which is the hardest part. That's probably why I don't like traveling so much because I have to be organized. But I'm filming a sit down video all about handbags. I mean, what else? <laughs> oh my God, Lumi, you are so funny. What are you doing? You silly moo. Oh yeah, I um, may have done an ASOS order. In fact, I'll show you what I ordered. It's an order for both Ali and I, so um, I'm obviously gonna show you what I bought from ASOS. I'm not gonna show you the box and then not show you what I got inside, but I just won't be doing like a proper sit down haul about it. Um, but I got some really nice stuff for our trip. It's mainly for our trip, so um, probably not stuff that you can wear at this time of year in England, but maybe somewhere else in the world where it's nice and hot. <laughs> kind of controlling my anxiousness at the moment about flying. I'm, I'm so excited in the same breath and I'm, I'm anxious, which is a weird sensation because usually I'm just anxious, but I am so, so excited because to be able to do this with Ali for like his first time going to the US is so special. And it's kind of like um, a bit of a treat for us after we got engaged. So it's just lovely. And I want, I want to enjoy flying because when I'm up there and I look out the window, I'm literally like, in awe. I, I can't, I can't vocalise how incredible it is and the feeling that I get, but it's the fear leading up to it, I think, but, but anyway, I better get filming before the light completely disappears. <laughs> so as promised, I am going to show you what I bought for our trip. I don't think I'll have time to try it on because I have to like get editing and stuff like that, but so it came in two packages because um, we couldn't find one of them initially and also it's got Ali's stuff in as well so let's take Ali's stuff out. Ali's, I think that's Ali's and that's Ali's Crep Protect. <laughs> so first up I got this Adidas jumper. This is to go on the plane in and it's just a casual jumper that um, I'll feel comfortable in and not too much of a scruff. I'll probably wear it with leggings and trainers just um, to be extra comfortable. I am not one of those girls that travels looking flawless. I like to travel comfortably and I plan on sleeping a lot of the way. So I thought that this would be quite a good addition to my sort of loungewear wardrobe. And also just in the stuff that like we wear when I'm running to the shops and stuff like that. Cause I don't have a lot of stuff that I can just like throw on and feel like I don't necessarily look like a complete scruff. Then we have oh, a beautiful play suit from a brand called Sisters of the Tribe. And this is the nightshade play suit. Ooh. Oh, it comes with a choker as well. I don't know if I'll wear that. But this has got kind of like a sweetheart bodice style it's also boned as well so it should be quite sort of it should stay up quite well it's got those kind of like bardo sleeves that come off here and um then it's got a tie waist detail as well and then it's got this kind of like turquoise trim i intend on wearing this more in the bahamas and um not in disney world because apparently it's a little bit cold in disney so um this is definitely meant for where it's going to be hotter like i think that this looks a bit like tula rosa-esque so that's kind of what I was hoping for, a little bit of like revolve inspiration in my wardrobe. Then I also bought a plain white shirt dress. So this is literally full length and this is one of those things that I am just gonna throw on, stick a belt with and wear some Chloe boots with and just be comfortable and not worry too much about how I look that was the rationale behind this so it's super long and it'll look really nice like pulled in at the waist 
and undone and with rolled up sleeves just it'll look smart but a little bit dressed down as well so um, this was only like 25 pounds as well fairly simple and um, I'll probably wear this the most whilst I'm out there just I can see myself throwing on a pair of boots and just wearing this and then finally in the first parcel is from a brand that I'm utterly obsessed with at the moment it is a dress let's put this down so this is a dress from Free People and I just can't get enough of Free People at the moment. I'm loving, loving their stuff and I actually want to make an order from their website in the US because the stuff on ASOS is great but nothing like the stuff they have on their main site so I'm definitely, definitely going to be making an order because I've just I've fallen in love with it so much since I bought that tunic ages ago. I just can't get enough of it. You can definitely expect a free people haul in the next few months, that's for sure. But this is kind of like an embroidered dress and it's got a little bit like balloony sleeves. This really beautiful like gold and khaki embroidery design on the front. And um, I think this was in the sale as well. I think I got this for like well under a hundred pounds, I think. So that's the first oh, parcel. <laughs> and then this one like, I think that there was like one of these left on the website. I hope it fits me nicely, I really do. Oh, so this is my first item from the Jet Set Diaries and I have seen this brand on ASOS so many times and I've never bought anything from it. This is the Mirage jumpsuit and it's the Moroccan tile print. It's this kind of like dark blue color. It's almost like, I don't know, I don't even know that shade but it's a full length jumpsuit and it's wide leg and I just thought that this would be one of those things that again you just throw on and look comfortable. Also I think that this would look quite nice layered under a um, leather jacket because quite a lot of people have said I might need jackets in um, America because it can get a little bit cold at night. So I'm just hoping that I'm packing right and that I'm not going to be too hot and I'm not going to be too cold. So I'm kind of packing a little bit for both. But this just looked so beautiful on the website and it's got such wide legs that I just thought it'd be really flattering and I just love the colour of it as well. So yeah, and this was also in the sale. This is literally like the last one though. So if I can find it on any other um, sites, I will let you know. Okay, so I couldn't resist trying everything on. This is the jumpsuit, which is quite boobyish. Um, it's also got pockets that are a little bit crinkled, so they need a bit of an iron. Um, makes me look quite bottom heavy. But I've also pulled it in at the waist because it needed that. <laughs> I've got this like little elastic thing that fits around my waist. But I love the length of it. The length is perfect. I'll definitely um, get wear out of this on the trip and I think it'll look really nice. The leather jacket. This is the top of the jumpsuit and as you can see this is the little thingy <laughs> that I've put on. But I think that it complements it nicely and just pulls it in. So this is the play suit. The um, Bardo style play suit with the v-neck. And obviously it needs an iron, it needs an iron, but I love the sleeves on it. I probably wouldn't wear the choker because um, I'm not really a choker person, but I think this will look really nice on the beach and I think we are having one beach day when we're there. Well, I don't know, we might have more. I have no idea to be quite honest. Ali's kind of handled everything with this. I love the print on it and I like the way it's kind of like loose, but then you pull it in. I love things when they're like cinched in at the waist. And I got this in an extra small, but I just, it's so pretty. Yeah, I think that this will look so lovely on a sandy beach. Very pretty. This is the free people dress that I got, which I love as just a throw on dress as well. I think this will look super cute with um, some little booties and a crossbody bag. It's such good quality as well. It's just beautiful. I really like this. It's also got detachable lining, um, which meant it was a little bit confusing when I was getting into it. So I actually had to detach the lining and then put the lining on and then put the, um, the dress on. So it's like a detachable slip, but um, the slip could actually be worn as a beach dress, which is really nice. So I've kind of got like two dresses in one, uh, winning. <laughs> But I think this is lovely, really lovely. So happy with this one. I love it when you put something on and you just know, you're like, I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. Even if you wear like boots with it or like lace up sandals, there's just so many ways that you can wear this. So I'm really happy. So this is the shirt and I've just sort of teamed it loosely with a uh, Gucci belt. And I apologize if you can see my black underwear through it, but this is a real time haul and you only get the real color of my underwear. <laughs> But this is just something, again, to throw on and um, feel comfortable, but also look 
a little bit presentable. So <laughs> this is just a simple one. I don't really have much to say about it, but for 20 quid, it's, it's very much my style. Oh, that was a little bit stressful. I just got off the phone to Virgin because I logged on to check where our seats were and I just, it set me off. I was in such a state of panic, but they were amazing and um, helped sort out some seats where I felt more comfortable. Because because if you don't know, I've got a little bit of a fear of flying. So um, <laughs> yeah, but they were amazing and so, so helpful. But it's just, it's all sorted and I feel so, so much better. But now I'm gonna go and get my nails done, which I'm so excited about and um, basically, I only got them done like last week, but because when I get back, um, I then have an important event and then I'm away again. So I thought I may as well get my nails done now along with my toes so that they all look like presentable because <laughs> I'm known for letting them get a little bit of a mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and get them done now so that they're ready for when I get back and everything that's going on. And um, yeah, hopefully it'll calm me down a little bit. <laughs> I've just got home from getting my nails done. I went for chrome, which I'm obsessed with. I love the way that it looks with my ring. I got it on my toes as well. So I'm all set for when I get back. I'm all set for being out there. I am literally obsessed. Look how cool that looks. But I am gonna leave this vlog here because I still have to pack and it's quite late and it's been a long day. I feel quite anxious about flying, but I'm excited at the same time. Ali's just got back from London, so just gonna get on with what I need to get done and um, I will see you in my next vlog which will be when I'm in America. So I'm very excited, so I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye!